I'm going to show you guys a crazy XP farm you can do that'll boost your levels by a decent amount. Now, any XP farm in this game runs out eventually because experience in this game is only based on doing challenges. And once you've done enough of whatever challenge is, whether it's defeating an enemy or hitting landing platforms or whatever your XP farm is you're doing, they're all going to run out. But I'm going to show you this uh, one farm you can do that'll give you 1,750 XP extremely fast. We're talking like... 10 minutes or something basically to get a huge boost to your XP and get that much closer to level 40. So this one is going to be a Doug Bok, uh farm. I think that's how you say their name, right? Let me look over here in the challenges. There's this toad like monster called a Doug Bog. Doug Bog. Okay. Uh, so you can defeat it five, then 10, then 20 for a total of 35, which is 1,750 XP. And I have a way to, I have this farming route where you can farm them super fast and get it done super fast. Now for this farm, I highly recommend getting the stealth talents at least getting the one where you can uh run while uh run while stealth just because it makes it faster and i recommend this in general this is a fun one to have but any of these ones you get will help just to make this a little more consistent and save a little bit of time because if they see you then you actually have to fight them also you could just change it to story mode which makes things even easier i would recommend that because they have so much hp i don't know if story mode makes my less hp or not but if they have too much hp you won't one shot them with a stealth attack all right so here's where the farm is going to be the farm is going to be up here at this uh, Foo Flame, the East North Ford Bog, all the way north of Hogwarts. So you're gonna go to this one. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go out of this room and we're going to go to the Southwest. There's two Doug Bogs right over here. So you're gonna land over here and you're gonna stealth up and then you're gonna sprint up to them and just one shot them with this Petrify attack. So each one of these will give you 50 experience. So every three Doug Bogs that you kill is basically like turning in a full side quest. So while this lasts, it's actually busted XP. Then you're gonna head to the Northwest. There's a Doug Bog over here that's not always here, but usually he's here. So luckily he's here this time. So there's a Cotton Grass Doug Bog. I can't move. Okay, there we go. Uh, so yeah, now we're gonna sneak up on this one. Doug Bogs are extremely vigilant though, so be careful of that. All right, so we got that one. Get on the broom, you'll see this bandit camp to the east. So go to the northeast of the bandit camp. And sometimes there's a Doug Bog right around here, unless I'm mixing it up for something else, but he's not here this time, so we're just gonna move on. All right, so then to the northeast, there's actually a troll that spawns right over here. You can fight that if you want, but you can't one-shot a troll with sneaking, so you actually have to fight it, at least for the XP farm. I don't recommend it, but if you need to work towards the troll goal anyway, then do that. But anyway, along this river, now we're up here. I might as well show the map real fast because we moved a lot. So we're right here now. And right here, you'll find two more dog bogs that can spawn. So you're going to go down here, and you're going to assassinate these ones as well. So if you haven't killed enough dog bogs yet, that'll be another 50 XP and another 50 XP right there. All right, so now we're going to head over here to the east and just follow the river. And there'll be another four dog bogs right over here. So we're going to get off kind of far away. If it will let me get off the broom, which, oh my goodness, I guess you can't get off the broom over here. Well, anyway, we're going to try to find somewhere that it'll let us off the broom. This is kind of crazy. All right, well, in that case, we're just going to go all the way around. And then try to land down here. I never realized you can't land up there. All right, so anyway, either way, find your own way in. And you're going to sneak in here and get another 200 XP real fast by killing four dug bogs. Also, jumping while stealth will make you move faster in general keep that in mind uh, when trying to do this. It'll actually save you a decent amount of time. So be aware of which way they're facing so you don't get um, so you don't aggro them. And uh, I actually got all three of them in one hit right there. So that was cool. So there's another 200 XP. Get on the broom. So now we're right here on the map. And now we're going to head south and follow the river to the south. So if you follow this little river it'll head over here and then it'll turn to the right. On the map, it'll stop showing that there's a river, but there's actually still a river right here. Right over here, there's two that spawn right here, and there, I don't know, ooh, okay, there we go, that was weird. It kind of spawned in late. But yeah, so there's more that spawn along through here. So we're going to go over here, and we're going to assassinate two more of these for another 100 XP. Real fast. Alright, so there's 50 XP. And there's 50 XP. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head this way. We're going to go over this um, landing pad and then go down here and there'll be one more here and he's usually fighting a bandit. So we're going to land up here in stealth and then we're going to jump down, land right behind him and then assassinate him. 
Then we're going to, if that enemy has not spotted us or if the enemy is dead, we're just going to open the map immediately and fast travel back to the east north forward bog. Because now what you need to do is you need to reset the spawn. So in order to reset the dug bog spawns, all you got to do is just go back to this house, open up your map, look at the bottom right to see what your hotkey is for waiting, depending on what system you're on, and then wait. Now you have to do this eight times in a row, which will take a little over one minute. So it'll take like, I don't know, I think a minute and a half or something like that, minute 20 seconds. So wait eight times and all of them will respawn again. And then you can farm them again and again until you've killed 35 dog bogs. So if you needed the item from the dog bog or you just wanted to get a quick 1,750 XP, uh, this route literally took me just now, I think less than four minutes. So it was basically five minutes to kill however many that was, two, three, four, five, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so basically in 10 minutes, you can have this entire thing done and get 1,750 XP in 10 minutes. You know, just for fun though, let's try this out. I'm gonna actually time it to see just how fast this goes. So I'm gonna speed it up with a timer going and we're gonna see how fast I can clear this spawn because it might be faster than four minutes. We'll, we'll find out, let's find out right now. Okay, so wow, that was a lot faster than I was expecting. Although I have a lot of experience with stealth, so your experience, your mileage may vary based on your experience using stealth. But I just did that whole route in less than three minutes. Uh, the the distribution was a little different. I honestly feel like I could have gone even faster though. But let's put it up at like 245, maybe maybe 230. 230 would probably be the fastest you could possibly go. And then there's like the a little under a minute and a half wait time, so like four minutes per cycle. And then it takes like three cycles in order to get 35 dug bogs killed. So I'm thinking that you could do all of this in like 12 minutes, guys. So in 12 minutes, you get 35 dug bogs and that's 1,750 XP in 12 minutes. That's lightning fast. That is actually so fast. It's a shame that it's not repeatable because that would make you level 40 so unbelievably fast. So that's, that's how good this is. It's too bad it doesn't last forever, but none of the XP tricks last forever in this game. Everything's limited as far as XP tricks. So it's more about finding good ones, just to get those quick boosts when you need them. Like if you're at level 24 and it's like you need level 25 to do this quest, you can go do this one real fast and get two levels real fast or something like that. This is a really nice XP boost. Simple, easy XP boost. It's also working towards a 100% completion of your game. Uh, so that's it's just good, guys. All right, so this video, if it helped you, before you leave, check out the description because I have a lot of other helpful videos for Hogwarts Legacy. I have the 30,000 gold per hour gold exploit, and I also have the infinite legendary gear exploit. Get any legendary gear whenever you want. And there's how to get Alab Mahora level 2, level 3, Demoguise, Moon locations, etc. So check out that description. There's lots of good Hogwarts Legacy videos in there. And also, if this video helped you out and you want to return the favor and help me out, check out the game that I'm making on Steam called Art Gallery Simulator. There's a link for that in the description of this video below the first paragraph. And if you go there, just check out the game. And if you like what you see at all, then wishlist it. And that would help me out a lot. But either way, guys, hopefully this video helped you out a lot. Now you know a good way to get a huge XP boost in 10 minutes. And also how to do like the best dog bog spawn farm in all of Hogwarts Legacy.